Welcome back to the Brian Crombie Radio Hour on Saga 960. Well, this month is Poetry Month. I was at church uh, just a week or two ago, and Arlene Stevens, who's in the choir, said a poem and reminded us all of Poetry Week. And I thought it was such a great poem that we should invite her on the show to, number one, tell us a little bit about Poetry Month, and then also, number two, to recite her poem. Arlene, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate it. I was really flattered to be invited to uh, read my poem. So Poetry Month is um, is a wonderful opportunity, really, for us to explore what poetry has to offer and uh, to be creative and to share our words and play with language and promote literacy. So it's been going on for about 25 years or so in Canada. As a uh, retired teacher librarian, uh, we always ran some sort of poetry event at school. And the city of Mississauga, of course, is running a poetry month this April. So it runs from April 1st to April 30th. So if you love reading poetry, you love talking about poetry, this is a great time to write a poem, submit it into a poetry contest. If you want to get better at writing poetry, you can sign up for an online workshop. Um, you could practice learning haiku, for instance. There's a... Um, a haiku seminar coming up at the end of April, I think the 26th of April, and it's run by a former Mississauga Poet Laureate, and she's going to teach you how to write haiku poems. If you're a young person, teenagers, young adults, you can participate in a poetry slam. So this is where young people write their rhymes and then they memorize them and they perform them live in front of an audience. So lots of really cool things to do if you're a poetry lover or if you just want to see if you're any, um, if you can improve your skills as a poet. Awesome. So yeah. Are you going to recite your poem for us? <laughs> yeah. So my poem, um, I write poetry uh, for different reasons. When I'm walking, I, I get inspired by nature. Sometimes I'll be sitting quietly in my room and I'm inspired by a thought, a feeling. So this poem is called Dear Creator God. And it's kind of a prayer that one might say in the morning or in the evening. Dear Creator God, thank you for my life. Thank you for the breath with, which binds us all together. Thank you for the beating of my heart. Thank you for the dawning of each new day. Thank you for the turning of this wondrous planet Earth and for the endlessly expanding universe. Thank you for all creation that I can see through these human eyes and for all sensations that I can feel through this human skin. My awareness of you means that I do not fear death. For when this body fails and vanishes, the essence of you that resides in me will become a part of something else, something younger, but equally miraculous. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. My pleasure. Um, do you write poetry a lot? I do. <laughs> I um, I didn't do it a lot, you know, when I was working full time because there's never any time and your energy is drained. But since retiring, I find that I've been writing a little bit um, every week, sometimes uh, a couple of times a week, sometimes once a day, depends, right? What's happening in your life. Um, so yeah, I, I love to to write. They don't all turn out. <laughs> Do you have a suggestion for people on uh, how to get through that writer's block? Some people wake up and early in the morning and do it right away. Other people wait till they're inspired. Uh, what's what's the the way it works for you? The way it works for me is just to put pen to paper, um, whether you feel you have a great idea or not. Sometimes if you just start by journaling, you get up in the morning and you just jot down whatever's revving around in your brain, that can trigger something. It can remind you of something. And then you find that a poem could come out of just your, your mind wandering. Oftentimes I'll go for a walk and I'll hear something or I'll see something. I might pick up a snippet of a conversation and that might get me to write a poem. You know, there's been huge focus on the STEM uh, studies, uh, science, technology, uh, engineering, and math. But English is important, too. Absolutely. Uh, literacy is so important. Um, how we communicate, our ability to communicate clearly is what can, I think, reduce a lot of the conflicts we experience in life. Um, and um, being able to communicate effectively can bring us closer together. We find out that we share common concerns and that our differences really aren't that um, divisive. Um, and so I think language, literacy, extremely important for all of us. 
I went to uh, <laughs> Hamilton recently, mm-hmm. the, uh, the the stage show, um, and uh, it's more really, I think, poetry than it is uh, lyrics. It's rap. Uh, yeah. Well, my... music is poetry, right? <laughs> music is poetry. Um, it's not just Shakespeare and Wordsworth. Uh, think think Amanda Gorman just a few years ago with uh, with President Biden at his inauguration. She, you know, poetry is used in politics. Think uh, John McRae after the during the wars, right? And then everybody learns that poem in school about the poppies, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, Hamilton was just unbelievable, and mm-hmm. the poetry, the rhyme, the 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 rap slams or whatever they call them when they're yeah, uh, yeah, you know yeah. competing against each other uh it was absolutely incredible so thank you so much my for pleasure your, uh, poem with us and uh and poetry month and it's something that uh, frankly i think that we should all go out and read our favorite poem my my absolutely. favorite when i was a kid was uh-huh. uh henry drummond uh who was oh. uh, an anglophone but uh-huh. he uh he wrote as if it was broken french um oh. and uh my my favorite was Little Baptiste. Little Baptiste, no much you care. How busy you keeping your poor grand père? Trying to stop you every day from chasing the hen around the hay. Why don't you give him a chance to lay, Little Baptiste? I can Fantastic. recite it. I can Fantastic. recite it all. <laughs> remember, we, if we grew up with listening to, uh, you know, um, remember our favorite. Everybody listened to um, alligator. Everybody learned alligator pie. Every alligator pie. So poetry is part of our lives. So yeah, absolutely, we should enjoy it this month especially. Arlene Stevens, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. You take care, Brian. I think that uh, poem is great inspiration uh, for us as we uh, will embark on another weekend and uh, and hopefully go out and uh, enjoy our creation uh, that our creator gave us. So Arlene Stevens, thank you for reading such an inspirational poem and for telling us about uh, Poetry Month. That's my show for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I remind you, I'm on every Monday through Friday at 6 o'clock on 960 AM. You can stream me online at www.saga960am.ca. All my podcasts and videos are available on my website, briancrombie.com. Have a great weekend, everyone. Good night.